it's time to play inscription um i don't know you can't see my my mouse does that matter what would, would, would it be you, you people tell me because i don't i don't know this game that well would it be helpful if i put the cursor on the screen because you can sort of see me like hovering over this okay so i will put mouse capture on give me one second if i can figure out how to do that uh capture cursor let's see if that's better okay we have a cursor all right here's my background on this game i know basically nothing about what i'm about to play everybody just says this game's really good i know there's like cards that's it that's all i know so here we go everybody buckle up let's play inscription devolver digital okay time to figure out what's on this thing Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Screen shake, flicker FX. Well, we gotta go fast tech speed. Why would you ever pick slow? Full screen. Graphics quality, high. Oh, we got to figure out if the audio is good. Let's see. What's up, Knox? Thank you. All right. Uh, we'll just start with this audio level. And if it's too loud, let me know. Because I don't know. Possible to tell in the menu. Uh... Why can't I pick new game? Is this already the game? Rip headphone users. Fork screen. Golden. This name is the most recent one of these. Ken. What's a oh, hope? Ark of no. Death. Thanks for the sub. Whoa. 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 Well, I guess I have to pick continue because I I'm not a n new gamer. I don't remember starting a game. Already spookier than. Uh, than Outer Wilds. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Play the squirrel card. What if I don't? What if I play the wolf card? Now, play your stoat. Sacrifices must be made. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn. Mm hmm. Attack power one. You win if you tip my side all the way down. This whole game is going to be rub noises in the back. 
My coyote dealt two damage to his stove. This name is the most recent one of these. Ken. What's a hoe? No. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Thanks, Jenny. Whoa. You may draw from your deck or you may draw a squirrel. I'll draw a squirrel. How dull. I'll play a squirrel. I'll sacrifice my stoat and squirrel. He's to sacrifice, but not removed from your deck. It's suffering was real. <laughs> oh, dang. How do I declare attacks? Yeah. Because you are learning, I will pass. You better. River Snapper. Oh, nice hand. I have a hand. I'll declare attacks. Play the squirrel. I've won this match. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. This looks like Slay the Spire. We got this. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Oh, I have to pick. Cat or adder? Team Cat. Some of the creatures of the forest seem willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. Squirrel in a bottle. What, oh, we're finding ways to, like, cheat the game? Okay, I like this. Tip the scales? Okay. A-Tech, you bet. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Large boulder the size of a small boulder? a large boulder. Oh, okay. So I see things that are going to be sliding into the... Okay. But I should just play over here. And then I can sacrifice. Your items may help. 
stop backseat gaming game. I'm doing fine without you. I'll sacrifice that squirrel to play my cat. My cat doesn't have any attack power, though. It ages swiftly. Like Taylor. I'll play a squirrel. Then I'll sacrifice two creatures to play Why can't I sacrifice cat? Hello. Hello? Alright, I thought I had to sacrifice too. The cub became a wolf. Why is it over to attack directly? Oh, I'm probably dead. Game sucks. Oh, I have a wolf. Alright. Three attack points. I'll play a squirrel, and then I'll sacrifice cat and squirrel. The cat doesn't leave its space. The cat sucks. Why did I pick cat? <laughs> Here we go. Why are my cards talking to me? That's very spooky. talking. You prevailed. I'm the best. What is this? Is this my deck? There's too much moving around in this game. Alright. What do we got? Cub or a flyer. I don't have any flyers yet. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. That I did. One that will be lost forever? Oh, no problem. That's that's the cat. <laughs> you looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host? Pick me. I pick you. <laughs> what an honor. Whoa. The soul of the cat lives in the stoat. That's spooky. This game is spooky. What's that?
It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. It's also spooky. Okay, the text is moving way too fast. There. I thought it would be like pause and let me read, but nope. We got a flying coyote and a bat. It didn't save? Oh, it saved. What are you talking about? Girls have no attack power. And he gets to play four attack points of uh, on his first turn. It sucks. So I could play a squirrel and then get a stoat for one. They only have one heart though, so okay. Maybe I wanted to do Squirrel. Dope. Back on the board. And then I can do Sparrow. attack my life points directly. Take a squirrel. Then I'll sacrifice two creatures to play wolf. This is fulfilling my Yu-Gi-Oh dreams in a very spooky way. Knock on wood. Okay, now I have a general game question. Do I... Is there like a manual save or... No, it just saves automatically. Okay. So we just keep going. We just keep going. It moves after attacking. Or a wolf or a porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. Oh, okay. It does one damage to the other player. Elk moves to the right after attacking. Porcupine. I'm going to go elk. Got a bonfire. And I don't know what this is. Oh, it's not going to tell me either. To figure it out. Well, if it's like Slay the Spire, bonfire is like a rest. That looks like it could be a boss or something. I don't know. The skull is probably a boss. I don't know what this is. 
gonna go here. Oh, this is the sacrifice thing. Oh, it's interesting. I could sacrifice the elk and put it into the sparrow. Or the other way around, and we'd have a flyer. Sacrifice the sparrow. Oh, oh. I have a flying turtle. That could be fun. Oh, we're going to do elk. We got a flying elk. What is this? There's a way out for both of us? It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. What? You're saying I can quit? Ah, oh, this has all the rules. Oh, some of the rules are obfuscated. Yeah, let's flip the pages. What if there's something in here? Annoying. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Bo items. Abilities. Is interesting. I wonder what this means. Okay, we got a very big grizzly. That's not good. Four attack points. What does this mean? Blocks air. Oh, so this is like a uh, reach. So that will block that. That is just going to be a big damage. We can't deal with it. Four. What am I going to do about four? How am I going to beat four? It's so strong. All right. We're going to go whirl. Don't. No, I'm not sure at all. Then we're going to play another squirrel. Play an elk. You can't draw blood from a grand fur. <laughs> Why not? You're telling me trees don't have blood? Oh, crap. I'm going to keep putting squirrels there to block the grizzly, I guess. Is that the plan? Why did the arrow switch here? It was right, now it's left. Can't explain that. What was that? <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, that's a lot of grizzlies. Why does the game hate me? Draw a card first. Uh... Did I just like rip my heart out? This is fine. I would like to speak to the manager. What's up with all of this? Rules question mark? Oh, we didn't die somehow. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Uh huh. Which one now? Whoa. What the heck? What? We got an escape room? Bring it here. sit back down let me explain something to you all right that was one of the two mistakes you can make here you make another room I sacrifice you hello it's not my fault that you got to play 12,000 Grizzlies Get a second chance. We're back. We're so back. Oh, porcupine and cat and raven. Big raven. get to light my candle again you came across a small group of survivors faces shrunken from starvation they huddled around a campfire come warm one of your creatures by the fire one of the survivors was wiping drool from their mouth <laughs> Hmm. I like how this is the only sentient creature I have. What do we want to make even stronger? Well, you're on the board all the time. Yeah, you can't have my stoat for breakfast. I need to die to this boss first. The trees seem to close in around you as a chill mist descended. Whoa! The prospector. 
Why does he kind of look like Cranky Kong? Not gonna lie. He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's key. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. By the way, how is the audio compared to my microphone? Is it good or is it competing? Like, is it hard to hear me? It seems very loud in my headphones. Seems fine? Okay. The bear buzz was a bit much. Agreed. That felt kind of loud. I wonder actually, hold on, why don't we do this? Uh, options. There. Did that save? There. Turn it down just a little bit. Okay. Now we're set. I don't usually play cards with people who stare at me while wielding like a, a prospector axe and and staring intently at me. Okay, so it's gonna move over to this column by the time it gets here, right? Or no, 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 because when you, wait, hold on. So when you play it, it will go here. At the end of the owner's turn, it will move. So it will move to here, and it has five hearts, so we probably want to do like, whirl, uh, don't, Now it's gonna go to the left. Okay, so if, if if it gets blocked by another creature, it tries to spin the arrow. Is that that must be a thing? We want a squirrel. Six hearts or three. snapper what was that my mule <laughs> nice oh it just like gives me four cards dag nabbit My deck is stacked right now. I can't even play anything. I don't have to. Is there a reason for me to play anything? I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Stars gold in them cards. Hey!
Oh, I... What? This game's gonna cheat the whole time. I'm gonna hate this game, aren't I? This sucks. It's super cool, but it sucks. Now we got a bloodhound. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space. A card bearing the sigil will move to the empty space. Wait, what does this mean? Let me think about this. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move. Oh, okay, so it... You're always going to fight the Bloodhound. Uh, what, what, what? How do I cheat? Let's see. Can I run away? I can't get up from the table? Brutal. I can draw a squirrel, though. You're out of space. That I am. I think we're okay. Give me another squirrel. A lot of attack points, though. It has three hearts, and I don't have anything that can do three damage. But I do have a porcupine. And a raven. Oh, it only has two attack points, too. Wait a minute. I could play the raven there. Whirl. Whirl. Raven. Squirrel. Ding. Problem is, I have no other way to play other cards because... I think we might be in bad shape. Not looking good. Five life points of damage on the board. Can I? Okay, wait. If we can fly over, can we win? We can win if I fly over. So if I play a raven, I think we can still win. I can't play a raven, though. We messed up! Oh, I could play, wait, I could play Porcupine, and then if he attacks, it does one damage to him? No. I think we're dead. I'm out of cheats. What if I play Bloodhound by flipping it around so it's facing him? Twitch really didn't want me to go live today. It took me like an hour to get live, but we're here to die. The only thing I can think of is we play Sparrow and fly over I think we're about to get prospected. Or we play pork. 
porcupine and do one damage directly. That could be a thing. Why didn't that do one directly? Oh, it has to be attacked. Okay. Wolf Cub Bloodhound. I think we'll just take the one damage from the snake every time. That's probably the best bet. And we'll make the Bloodhound kill the squirrel? I, I don't know. If we do flying here, then we're trading two damage. Maybe it's better to play this and take... Because I do two damage, then he does two in response. Okay. Wait, why was the adder able to attack my flyer? stand a chance. The scales are tipping. I seem to be out of squirrels. Bearing this, it'll damage another creature that appears. Okay, so. Wait. So, if I attack it, then I don't die. We had a good run, everybody. For me. No. He grabbed my hands. You aren't dead yet. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. We will work together to amend that. Here are some cards from Meteor Code deck. We can put them to good use. Well, I get to pick between wolf or wolf. <laughs> Power and health. I see. We're building the ultimate super card. Gotta be the raven. How about the elk? I never did ask you your name. My name is... Let's see. Who do we want to die? Uh, Elon Musk? 
fine. I'll put me. The portrait. They cheese. Here we go again. Another challenger. I feel like the Grizzlies were definitely rigged. Maybe we should just keep losing on purpose to acquire more powerful cards. Perhaps you can understand bones. Ah, a new mechanic. A possum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. That seems... Oh, that's only that's his only cost is... Okay. It's kind of bad. Rattler. It's my friend the stove, but he doesn't remember me. I wish my friend the stoat remembered me. Oh, I see. I've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Okay. Excellent. I was asleep again. The stoat's a bit of a talker. Bullfrog. Blocks airborne. Okay. Uh. Possum it is. I hope that I could sacrifice the opossum to play a bullfrog. Rip. Oh, this isn't looking great either. Can we stall long enough to win? Yo, the bullfrog with the hard carry. Let's go. Oh. I forgot your figurine. It's beside the safe. I need a three-digit code. Oh, I probably shouldn't have clicked that. Elk fawn and squirrel. Twelve, three, and six.
free. Seven. Is this the numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, six, two, three. safe just gonna open when I get it right I bet it has something to do with the flickering light and how many times it, it goes off wait there's a four on the door there's a four on the door Right there. Four, four. The door itself is a four, four card. Can I take the door? I'm going crazy. Forget the card game. We're solving the escape room. This doesn't move anymore. It did before. Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, wait. Wait. Four, four, four. Two, three, six. I'm so intrigued. There's a whole escape room over here. Forget the card game. Let us continue. Cockroach. Unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. Four bones. Cockroach it is. Free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. And don't think I won't. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. A rock may get you out of a hard place. That's a funny joke. Oh, does this get you a bone? Is that what this is? I see. I'm gonna go with this. Wolf Cub. frog 
Wait a minute. Unless... Tristram. Kind of a chill song for a torture chamber cabin. Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind. Lucky for me. I'm learning new rules all the time. This is like my how my family complains about me explaining rules of board games. Like leaving out the details until they become relevant. That's this game. In my game, such feats are rewarded. A tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. Okay. That's good to know. Hey, that's me. And a turkey vulture. And an adder. Eight bones. But look at me. I'm a 2-3 flyer that moves to the right. I'm taking me. Should I sacrifice me at the sacrifice station? Get stronger. No way. Make me stronger. The power of the golden. Those survivors seem to want me. That's kind of scary. smart or something he usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones <laughs> writing a passcode in the rule book a passcode in the rule book 273 273 let's go Dude, the stoat knows all. <laughs> Total misplay? What? I don't think so. Alpha. Features adjacent gain one power. Play a bullfrog, I guess. Stout.
Oh, it's got upgraded to a wolf anyway. That sucks. Excuse me one second. I'm going to go open a safe. Hey, I was close. The, the, the flashing light over there, I think, is doing 273 as well. Oh, hello. Not sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Put that away. The madness must end. Oh, what is this? Zero out of five? If I ring the bell. Nice. You may add it to your deck and I'll deal you one every so often. Oh wait, he's not done. is two flying damage. This block's flying. We're able to move that one. Okay, wait. Three, four. I don't know what that symbol means. We knew what this symbol meant. Because this will take this damage, so that's none. Three, four, five, six. What if this like carries over? Maybe it's like a roadkill symbol? Oh, but then I can't do enough damage anyway, because it's only two. One seems harder. We don't know how this one works yet, do we? At least four. Whoa, why is that four? I need to see what this symbol means.
What an ability, right? Loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and the card bearing this sigil moves to the right. moves to the right here. Oh, oh, you can move all of them down. Wait a minute. Let's go. Formidable creatures, those ants. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Worker ant and queen. There's even more. So if we solve these, we unlock cards. So I feel like we should just take a second and solve these. This would be good. Hero. That one's not moving. Got it. Caged wolf. Curious. like splits the attack Two. It should be four at least. Oh, well, because this blocks to the right. If it would be hit. has to be the three, right? Can't move this one or that one. mean strike each opposing space to the left and the right of the space across from it that's what I thought yeah this gets one damage here and one damage here This should be three damage and four damage. 
But, oh, you can't do anything about this guy because he's going to move to the right. So what if we do this? The only one. Oh, because it doesn't wrap around. This one seems really hard. Not sure on this one yet. The one symbol means you take one damage whenever you attack. One plus one is two. attack up. I feel like we're missing a piece here. We can't solve this one yet. It's filled in the three, the four, and the five. Or if that's on purpose. Four and five. Back to the cards. I feel like the key to this game is going to be solving the cabin and less about like moving along the board here. We're going to look at my pelts. It just has hearts. The trader further down the path would reward you for them. Okay. Oh, so they're just like dummy cards. That's not good. Let's sacrifice. The choice is yours. 
Ant Queen. When a card bearing this is played, an ant is created in your hand. Unkillable. What about the unkillable ant queen? The unkillable caged wolf? I'll go. Oh, you want to become unkillable, eh? How about an unkillable ant queen? How about that? Oh, they're friends. I told them how to do it. I have another friend here. We're in deep this time. Can't believe this game has a uh, Undertale chatter. This card's pointless. Stink bug you can just play, huh? Oh, it's bones. So good. Don't end up in Furyton. We've ended up in Furyton a couple times already. Well, this gets played for free and it lowers the attack power. We've got two flyers. We're going to take two damage. Oh, draw a card first? All right, fine. You can fly for zero. Or we go here. I don't think we want to play that just yet. I concede. You may finish this match the slow way. Wait, what? I wasn't even winning. You encounter a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor. I can trade you any of these, take your time. For a rapid pelt. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will move in the direction 
inscribed in the sigil, creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Any more like one star. Count as three blood rather than one when sacrificed. tell what's good in this game. Look like any cheaper cards. Oh, I get to pick two. Okay. Fire or sacrifice or stop. Go fire. Enhance its health. Pick something else. All right, are we back to the prospector? My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. That's kind of rude. The smoke. Yeehaw, we are so back. Oh, when this dies, four bones are awarded. I haven't played me yet. Okay, so the pack mule has all the cards, but if we play too many things here, we get uh, screwed pretty badly. Bullfrog. Is the trick just to wait a turn and get another squirrel?
There's gold in them cards. <laughs> Prospector boss again. We are so back. None of them, my cards are very good. Bloodhound's coming. Golden became gold. That's right. I kind of feel like passing this turn. I don't know what I should do. never really value in playing a squirrel unless you want to use it as a blocker. We're gonna have to draw a better card. So many bones. Antis attacks one in both directions. did it huge progress you're the first in a while to overcome a boss choose a rare card pack rat strange larva or ooh, lily. wow seven seven You'll receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. Strange larva will become more powerful one turn on the board. I'm going strange larva. You carried onwards. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. The wetlands. I want these cool tools, though.
There's so much more puzzles to be had still. How do we solve this puzzle? I can't move the blockers. Have I tried Elange? Good question. We can get up to three. convinced there's something missing from this puzzle. Oh, nice bones. clicking stuff. Look, like there's not a whole lot of puzzles in the room. Let's go back to the action. The black mouth of a cave. Whoa. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck to the other side, success or failure. But first, I'll choose a trial. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power to pass. The three drawn cards must cost at least five bones. Or three sigils. I have a lot of sigils. We gotta draw three cards from the deck. And they have to have four attack power or more. I'm gonna go sigils. Screwed up. Big fail. Gust from this may lift your creatures into the air for a turn. That seems good. <laughs> it's me. Got flying bees. out all those teeth and I didn't get any bones for it. Thanks. 
Power in numbers. Oh, I see. The more ants I have, the stronger they are. Now we're cruising. Four, five, six. Guess we'll take a wolf pelt. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its health. Stop this. Why do you want me to stop this? It says do what you must, and it says stop this. Don't you want more health? Do what you must. Crushing it. I want to find out what the strange larva turns into. This is a really good card. Strange pupa. Better be good. Mothman, let's go. Oh, we love to see it. We love to see it. Things you love to see. I knew that would be a good card. I just had a feeling. If you can keep it alive. Rat King. gain four bones. Way better than a four cost seven seven. I knew it. Reduces the strength of the enemy. Oh, a skunk. Feels like the hardest thing in this game is to generate squirrels. It's time to sacrifice. Hello. We will sacrifice Let's see, so that means that it's worth three blood when it's sacrificed. If I could get that on a creature that was like a cat with a black goat would be really good. This one attacks in both directions. What if we put that on the strange larva? Then Mothman could oh baby. Think of the possibilities. <laughs> it 
It's me? No, it's not you. You know who it is? Let's go. The almighty Mothman. What is this tail symbol? Card bearing this sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. Oh. Okay, so you attack over it. Mm hmm. Well, he's gonna hit me for four on my next turn. That's not good. Might have to use an item. Can we survive if I take four hits? No. Play here. I think I'm going to use this. Obligated to pass. We like that. Become the Mothman. Uh, now we need to make sure we don't die. This will hit for seven on both. Oh, seven over. Uh, I'll go whirl, whirl, ant queen. Yeah. We are so rolling. Of otter. Beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. Who is Kaminsky? I feel like we gotta know who Kaminsky is. What's this, a discard? Let's go to the fire. Crackling fire lit the starving faces of a group of survivors. We have not food, one said. Um, nope. Kaminsky must be another dead character. I don't know. I don't know. Who is Kaminsky? If the larva could attack, that would make it very, very good. One of these times, the survivors are going to eat my card. I just know it when it gets too good. It's time for a boss. Pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Okay. So you're going to do that thing where you hide. That's cool. You go ahead and do that. Go ahead. I ain't even afraid. Now we have to think about what the gimmick is going to be here, because I'm going to get screwed again, probably. 
Don't want to overplay. Okay. Oh, he's gonna, okay. He's gonna like kill that. I see. I think that's fine. Oh, he hooked the squirrel. I'm okay with this. This worked out well. I think Mothman's gonna do big damage here. I'm not playing anything. Go fish. Bait bucket. The bell question mark? Wing. The cup overfloweth. Mothman, let's go. I feel like I'm gonna get a bad end for winning with Mothman because it's too good. We're just gonna steamroll this entire video game. You may choose a rare card. The Gek. Uninspiring Gek. Child 13. Does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? That sounds worse than a cat. Oh! Or we just become the Mothman deck. All becoming Mothman. Let's go. Now, the thing to note is this is a significantly weaker Mothman than my other one at the moment. Actually, it'd be interesting. I, I bet this is a thing you can do. I wonder if you can transfer the, the, the one turn makes the card more powerful ability. I wonder if there's like upgraded versions of other creatures. So maybe we could sacrifice this one and put this sigil on something else. I'm also curious what a Gek is. We're going the Mothman build though. It's too good. You considered one of the anglers catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Hey, we're on to map number three. Absolutely running this video game right now. Uh, actually, I've been playing for a couple hours. Let me take a quick break here. We'll keep this run going. It's on a roll. But I will be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> 